Hi, boys and girls. If you just watched your field trip on going to the bakery, um, you're ready to write a sentence with me then. This is my example, so your sentence can be completely different. It's your opinion. And the question that we're answering is, what kind of cupcake would you make if you went to a bakery? So I have a dry erase board, but if you don't have a dry erase board, you can use paper, you can use pencils, um, anything like that. You could even write on the back of something that's blank. Whatever your parents say, it's okay to write. So we have to think about our question. So it was, what kind of cupcake would I bake? And I think I would make a um, white cupcake with chocolate frosting. So that's my sentence. I have to think about it. I would make a white cupcake with chocolate frosting. So that's nine words. Um, it's kind of long, but I can, I can stretch it out. So I first start with my lines and I know I need nine lines. So I'm going to try to do this backwards, but it might be a little difficult. So, um, let me just try it out and see how it works. I, then we always need a finger space in between our lines. So, um, our words don't scrunch together. I would... And would is going to be longer than I because we know I is just one letter. I would make a chocolate cupcake. What did I say I was going to do chocolate? I said I was going to do vanilla. I would make a vanilla cupcake with chocolate frosting and then I need to put a period at the end of my sentence that means my sentence is over so let's read what I have so far I would make a vanilla cupcake with chocolate frosting so I have enough lines for my words the first one the first word I have to write is I and that's a sight word I and we always know that the first letter in our sentence starts with a capital letter I would, let me sound up my word, would. 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 I would. Now my next word is make. Let me sound out make. Mm. Now A, if I look back on my phonics for all chart, I see that the long A is a and an i because we don't want mac we want make and a and i make that long a sound in my class we say when two vowels go walking the first one does the talking so make i would make a now our next word is vanilla so i need to sound up vanilla v a n i l a v so then I have a n i l a. Now, grown ups, you might not know, you might notice that this isn't vanilla like how it says on a cake box or frosting, but in kindergarten writing, we're just trying to focus on our sound. So v, a, n, i, l, a. I would make a vanilla cupcake. K, a, p, k, a. So I need that AI again, because that's a long one. And it's okay if your child puts a C here instead of a K. So, so far I have, I would make a vanilla cupcake with. I'm going to sound out with together. W, I, th. And that th sound goes thumb, thumb. So we have W, I, th. I would make a vanilla cupcake with chocolate frosting so i have to sound up chocolate ch a k u i t ch a k u i t f 
frosting. 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 Ooh, e, it would actually be that double E. Because like I said earlier, when two vowels go walking, the first one does the talking. So you just say E. In. So there's my sentence. We always read our sentence afterwards to make sure it makes sense. Make sure we put our words in order. Also, there's some sight words in here. There's I and A. Um, not very many, but we check out those two so that we point and read together. I would make a vanilla cupcake with chocolate frosting. You might even say it in a whisper voice. I would make a vanilla cupcake with chocolate frosting. You might say it in a loud voice. I would make a vanilla cupcake with chocolate frosting. And you can always draw a picture to go along with your words. So that's just kind of a little overview. It might seem like a lot, um, but try your best. You might even say, I would make a chocolate cupcake six words. Um, sound it out and send us a picture on your dojo. Thank you so much for doing shared writing with me today.